if you wish to get married before the end of this year, if you wish to meet your destiny helpers, if you wish to be connected to the right people, please watch this video and by the grace of God, your destiny helpers will locate you, your life partner will locate you, that connection you are looking for will come. So what you need to do is to get your six flower oil. It helps to attract good things, good luck, favor to you. Okay. Another thing you're going to be needing is cinnamon. We all know how powerful cinnamon is. Cinnamon is very, very powerful for attraction of good things. Even marital attraction, cinnamon is there. Another thing you're going to be needing is dates. Dates, the normal dates, you know, tapino. Okay, this is dates. You will eat it. Most of you know it very well. The dates you usually use to brew. Uh, to make your date syrup, the one you use for your coconut drinks is a sweetener, but very, very powerful spiritually. So when you get these three ingredients, you are going to remove the seed of these dates. The dates usually have a seed inside it. So you are going to remove it. This is how it looks like. We don't need the seed. This is the seed. We don't need it. All we need is the flesh. Okay, so you can see it's edible, very, very sweet. So when you get your dates, you can use one, you can use two, any amount you want to use is okay. So when you get your dates, get your six flour, get your cinnamon. Cinnamon, I need the powdered one preferably. So buy the stick one and blend it or grind it or pound it to get the powder substance. Don't buy the regular powdered one in the market, most of them are mixed. So when you get your cinnamon, take half teaspoon, put it in your baking water. This date, you can pound it or grind it so you get a paste. Soak it in water if it's dry to get a paste. Add it to your baking water. Take some drops of this six flour, add in your baking water. Then you are going to read Psalm 23 seven times inside a bucket of water. And, and pray, tell God you want to get attracted to the right people. If you're looking for a particular project, you have submitted all the proposals, everything required for you to get a job, and it's not forthcoming, do this, but pray, call the name of the company. You have submitted a proposal. Call the name of people in charge if you know their names. Say, whatever that is keeping this contract from getting to me, that God Almighty to touch the people responsible to release the contract to you. If it's marriage, maybe you've been dating this particular person, the person is not talking about marriage, and when you know that he or she is capable, is ready for marriage, is mature enough for marriage, but he is not coming forth with it, do this prayer if he is the right man to marry you. Believe me, he will be gingered, he will be, you know, moved to come and do their needs, but if he is not, you may end up quarreling and don't bother uh, asking God what happened. God doesn't, God doesn't want you to keep wasting your time with such person. But if he's the right man for you, he will be the one disturbing you that he wants to see your parents. Start busy with this at least three times in a week. At least three times in a week. You will see changes. People that see you and don't recognize you, they will want to be your friend. There are some people when they see you, they don't they just pretend as if they don't know you. Then now it will be the one to look for you. They want to be your friend, they want to be in your life, they want to be discussing with you, they want to be talking with you. If you have friends that when you call them on phone, they don't take you serious because maybe you are poor, you are not their class again because of circumstances beyond your control. You know, there are some group of friends like that. If you are not making it again. They will not want to identify with you again. They will not even want to, you know, relate with you. If you have such friends and maybe you still want to continue the relationship, you know their connection to grow in life. Do this, but after doing it, make sure that one of them sees you physically. If you are in the in this, you are disposable to see them. If you are not, you can call them on phone. You will see them answering you and saying things that are positive. If you are uh, you know, you're not in a relationship and you are right for marriage. After doing this cleansing bath, go out. Go move out. Some of you will stay in your house 
and watch different kinds of programs from Netflix from morning to night, from Monday to Sunday, every day. Husband does not fall from heaven. I, don't, I hope you know. Go and you have occasions that people invite you. Don't want to go. You prefer to stay at home. Sometimes you stroll, even if you have a car, park your car and stroll. You may see people on the road that will admire you and start talking. But when every time you're on the road, you are driving and driving, people you will not be approachable. Even people that love you cannot approach you because it will be funny for them to start with you to stop. So, but when you're strolling, it gives people the confidence to walk to you and talk to you. I know so many girls that are 100% indoors. Every time they are indoors, I'm not saying saying indoors is not good, but as a single girl, try to move out. If people invite you for vacation, if you can go, you have the resources to go, you have the time to go, go. Who knows if your own husband is there? Who knows if that person that can connect you to marry your husband is there? My husband was my schoolmate from primary, secondary, university, but we never dated. We are not even in communication. I went for a, a friend's wedding and they posted it in our WhatsApp group. That was where my husband saw me. I remember that somebody was like, there was existing. And he just came and started looking for my number and proposed. That is how we got married. So imagine I, if I did not go to that wedding. Maybe I would have still be single. I would have married somebody that I wouldn't love today. So go out, attend occasion, attend ceremonies. Don't always lock yourself in the house. Even with your tight schedules, try and go out. Some of you don't even go to church. When you go after church, you will turn and go. You won't greet people. You won't look at people's face. You just turn straight to your house. In the morning, straight to the church, back to the house. You don't greet anybody. No person knows you. Nobody even knows you. And they only see you in church. They don't know where you live. They don't know what you do for a living. Because you don't want to be approachable. Most of you are not even church workers. You just go and come back. These are places you meet responsible people. In your place of work, you don't talk to your colleagues. Your colleagues may not marry you, but they can recommend their brothers or sisters to marry you. You are just being so difficult. You don't cooperate with people. You don't smile in the company where you live. You don't greet people. You don't associate with them. How will you now meet a man that will marry you? I'm not saying you should be going out looking for going to clubs. No. Go for occasions. Go out at times. True. By the grace of God, you will meet those responsible people. There are responsible men who do not even know where to find a good wife. And where you stay in the same street, in the same locality. Maybe every time when you throw once in a while, they will, they will want to know you. And from there, you may get married. People marry people they live in the same street with. They will say, I've been seeing you, but I don't know you are this beautiful. Before you know it, relationship has started. So let us help ourselves as we are doing this natural recipe. Help yourself. If you are the kind of woman that jumps from one man to another, stop it. Men are watching you. When it's time for marriage, you will know that none of them will marry you. But when you're responsible to one or two persons, you will see they will be fighting to marry you. So try this simple assignment and by the grace of God, you'll get connected to the right people. Thank you once again and see you in my next one.